Alright guys, I got some donuts. Yeah. So I gotta take a picture because if I take a picture I forget. Amy, so these from these uh, donuts I did last time. Shoot, I forgot what the name was it. But I go to this place all the time, it's like right near the place. And I got some almond milk because our girls like to the taller and do I do eat cheese sometimes, sometimes, not all the time. But I thought they would like smash this, but they didn't. Huh. I did not buy this is cinnamon, by the way. I did not buy it for myself. I bought this for um this little Sunday class I go to after church. But number one eat all the donuts. So I was like, dang it. I'm the only person that eat that drinks almond milk, so whatever. I cut them in half because I knew people were going to come in there and take like whole donuts and they did. I was like, uh-uh. Mm. I think next time I was going to bring healthy stuff because those donuts were supposed to be only for certain people. They're not supposed to be for like people who are coming into our class. Like, you know, if you're, go if you're going to a class, you have to stay for a class, you know what I'm saying? And there are people coming in and grabbing donuts, like, big portions of donuts. I'm like, bro, you don't even go to a class here. What's going on? I was getting, like, super irritated. Plus, I've been working on that, and I know how my mouth is. I'm just like, girl, don't do it. Don't do it. Like when I get really tired, I'll start saying some stuff that's like really mean to us. Like just keep it inside. But like I think just bring like fruits on the next time because that was like too much effort, honestly. Or bring like a, or bring a, sm a smaller thing of donut or bring like those donut holes. I already married a super early, so I'm surprised nobody took donuts, you know? Or try to never take donuts. But this is a lot of people's favorite brand of donuts. So well, I can't wait to twist shifts at work because like one of my coworkers is getting on my nerves. Cause he wants things done his way and I don't really care as long as he gets done, you know? I'm not, I'm not trying to be like a supervisor or anything like that, but there's a new guy over there and he needs to learn how to do certain things, but he's making me do all, not the new guy, but the other guy that's getting on my nerves, he's making me do all the work. So the new guy can ha can kind of have it easy. But I'm like, I only have one more week on this shift. And once that's done and over, that's done and over with. But he doesn't really realize that how to put up with him is a lot. And I notice he's trying to show out in front of him. Or try to show in front of like people in front of me. Saying all these things and being super extra. So I cannot wait, you know. Because I usually have only two days with him. This week I had four days so it's kind of irritating honestly and like he never really walks the four floors in the building until recently until someone called him out but when it's just me and him he is he doesn't do the parking lot he does not like walk a lot he mostly sits around and it upsets me a lot honestly so um hopefully I um you know Somehow, somebody calls in and I do a double, then I can't work that night or something like that. I don't know, but I just I'm the, I'm just not really 
okay with working with him because I don't like I don't like people treating me as like a child that's like I'm almost 30 y'all like why is this guy treating me like I'm dumb or stupid I don't appreciate that you know so um But it's something I gotta deal with until I switch shifts, which is gonna be great. Cause then I'll be in a guard check all by myself, chilling. Not really chilling, but like. I'm gonna be responsible for myself, you know? And the guard check coming, you know, common sense stuff, you know? Write people in and out. Radio, whoever, watch the cameras, blah, blah, blah. That's it. But I just can't wait. He just, he just like talks down on me and stuff, but I don't talk down on him. Oh, I'm not sure what he does, but he's known for that, you know. And he does it to my other coworker, but he has switched buildings. And I was like, no, why? Because like, he made a night go by fast and he was funny, you know. I was like, oh. But... I don't think that we will be working again anytime soon. I don't think unless we have an overlap ships or, you know, I get switched to a different building or have to cover in our building. Cause I thought I was going to his building that he was going to work at, but they put me at six and I was like, but I want to be with my coworker buddy, you know? And then like, I like, I had like a major crush on him too. And then his dad the other night told me, oh yeah. Cause I had asked him, you know, to be curious. I was like, oh, do you, you know, I was trying to like refer to his dad, like, how, oh, how do you, you know, have um, any, you know, girlfriends come over and stay, or whatever. He said, oh, no, not me. But, and I was like, no! <laughs> Don't say but. <laughs> but, and he's like, oh, yeah, my son has like a little girlfriend. And I was like, my. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, my heart was just like, <laughs> you know, like I've been single since like November ish. Yeah, I've been yeah, I've been single since November because I was I remember Thanksgiving I was single. And even though my ex roommate wanted to get with me, I'm like he's not my type, cause like he's like freaking what eight seventy something, sixty sixty or sixty or seventy something. And I was like, <laughs> like, I can't have to remind him how old I am or know how young I am compared to him. Like, he's not understanding that. I was like, bro, I'm like almost 30 and you're like, what, almost 80? It's not going to work, you know? I'm like, we never really got along. Because <laughs> like, he'll do like dumb, stupid stuff. I'm like, bro, like, what are you doing, you know? I guess he got li got used to living alone that when I moved in, you know, he was just like, why are you be rocking that? I was like, bro, if you're not going, because like he had roaches in there. I cleaned it out. There was no more roaches, anything like that. Um, I believe there were fleas in there and something else. And um, whenever he moved out, he was trying to be like, oh, extra and whatever. But I keep telling him he's not my type. And I keep saying, I'm not going to date someone like, that's always my grandpa or always my dad. Like, there's a limit, you know, to who, like, how old I will date. And, like, it's now it's starting to be a problem to where how, how young I will date. Because, like, I got kids still in high school trying to hit on me. 
and I yes I do dress like a high schooler sometimes depending on like how my hair is or how I look or how I feel today I do you know get really mistaken for a high schooler I know that's kind of weird because I don't really look like it or I don't think I do but a lot of people think I'm still in a high school or just graduated high school or like like 18, 19, 20 around there. And when I tell people my real age, they go, oh, what? And they go, oh, well, yeah, you do look like da-da-da, you know? Because, like, I do look young, but I carry myself like I'm really old. <laughs> you know, like I'm like, no offense, sorry, but like, like I'm older than, like, a high schooler, if that makes sense, you know? I don't act like a high schooler. I'm not a high schooler, but, like, I've been looking like, you know, this way, like my looks, I hadn't really aged really since like I hit puberty. No, no. Ever since I was born, I don't think I have aged really, except for like, you know, eczema and my hair and stuff like that. But I've been, my, my grandma looks really young. <laughs> my mom looks really young. So now it has kind of passed on to me and my sisters, so like people keep confusing us for, you know, us being in high, still in high school or whatever, so it's still, you know, blessed to be that way. Of course, like, if I had my hair, like, if I had a sew-in, like, I look really young or I look like, I, or I look like a little kid, you know, I was kind of like, I can't, really, like, I don't really get ID, I never got ID'd, you know, in my life, I guess, I guess, because like, Someone had asked me, oh, can you buy me this? And I went to go to the store, and I, when, you know, I never get ID'd. Even when I went to this, um, this gas station right around the corner for me, I never get ID'd. Like, you know, of course I drink beer or alcohol on occasion, and it was like during Christmas. And I was like, you know, I want to celebrate with some Coronas. So I got me like a six pack of Coronas because I don't want to get super drunk, but I just want to get a little buzz. So I would go, you know, get, I was debating about what to get. I was like, hmm, what should I get? What should I get? You know? So I went in there and I got what I got. I think I had some Cheetos too. And I had a hundred dollar bill. I'm like, I am so sorry. I know I got a hundred dollar bill. I know you say you don't take them, but hey. He was, he was, he was grumbling. Like, oh, I don't want to do this, but whatever. You know? So, um, he really never ID me. So I'm like, oh, okay. Whatever, you know? And then when I ever, whenever I buy my, my ex like dip or cigarettes or something like that with his own money, cause I'm not gonna, I did use my own money sometimes, but I was like, bro, where's your money at? <laughs> you know, um, I never got ID'd either. Unless I'm at the one at Walmart in the gas station, they always ID me no matter what. Cause like they have to, cause they have cameras on them, you know, but like anywhere else, especially like in Tuscaloosa or like. Uh, West Blotton, like I never got ID. I was kind of like, this is kind of weird, you know. And I and I, I think I don't never. I really never go to bars, so I can't really. Yes, I went to bars in Colorado, and I never got ID over there too. So I was like, do I look like just a little bit over twenty one, and that's it, or like, or just people just trust me, you know, because I have that face, or you know, whatever, I don't understand. Even like all my friends look really young too. Like Carrie, she looks really young and she's short. So, you know, hey. <laughs> but, and um, some, a lot of my family members really look young too for the age, but like, whenever my grandma come visits us, she thinks like, everybody thinks like my grandma and my mom are sisters, like like in their thirties. And my, my, my grandma and my mom go, <laughs> No, we're not. We're mom and we're mother and daughter. And people go, what? Because, like, when I go out with just my dad, people think we're, we're husband and wife, but we're not. That's, like, that's, like, my actual dad, <laughs> you know? And I didn't really get it until, like, I was, like, we are out going somewhere, and my mom was behind us. And I was, like, I was also a little kid, so I was holding my dad's hand. I was, like, skipping and swinging his arm. He kind of let me go, let go real quick. And I'm, like, what's going on? He's just kind of, like, stopped doing it. And I was, like... But I'm still a little kid, so whatever, you know? But I didn't realize at the time that people were looking at us because, like, you know, I could be, like, his young bride or something like that. So I was like, oh, <laughs> womp womp. But, like, dating here is, like, super hard because there's, like, a lot of older, like, grandpas here. 
Like I don't I don't mind dating somebody in like their thirties, forties and fifties. But when it past like sixties, seventies, eighties, I don't wanna date nobody my grandpa's age. <laughs> like no. Like it's not gonna work. And I know there's a lot of them down here who are desperate enough to date me like that. But like I'm not that desperate to date somebody just for, you know, just for that sake, you know, like I don't know why, but I always have like the grandpas chase me and everything. And I'm just kind of like, bro, like why? Like the ones who like are newly divorced or like separated or, you know, their wife has passed away or something traumatic happened, you know? I'm just like, why me? <laughs> kind of weird and that's been happening ever since I had like puberty. I always had the older guys chase me and I was like bro this has to stop you know. And it's never the rich old guys it's always the broke ones. And I was like bro. <laughs> Not that I'm saying I'm bored but you know. It'll help out your chances if you have a little bit more money you know. And especially if I got like my hair done. I wear an outfit, I go into Walmart and I get instantly stared at like I'm a piece of meat. I'm just kinda like, um it's just really uncomfortable. Like what? That's why I really dress down or wear bigger hoodies. But honestly, I put this on the other night and it was so baggy. This is like a what? I don't know. I think this is like an extra large or a triple X. But like, I never really fit this. It was always so kind of like baggy. But like, this is so, sorry it's my bra strap. Whatever, I know, whatever. Like, this is so baggy now to where it's like hiding all my, like, look, like, this. I know it's stuff in my shirt, oh well, but this is how baggy it is. It's, at least it still looks black on camera and not on, and if off camera, it does not look black. <laughs> and I got like freaking lint on it and this is not from donuts. I don't know where this is from though. I gotta wash it. I only wore this one time and I'm kind of mad it got dirty that fast. But yeah, this is the end of my month bang because I'm tired. I'm going to bed. So yeah, I know you guys heard me complaining about relationship stuff. And I will stop. It's just like, I always use YouTube in my diary. So sorry, but at least I talked about, talk about something different today. Anyways, my name is Month with Nico. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys want me to see, if you guys want, if you guys want me to see, eat something different, or whatever, or whatever piece of interest, let me know in the comments down below. And subscribe to help us grow even more and be awesome and amazing. I'll see you guys later.